Welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey coming at you once again from my house because as the Cowboys love to do this offseason, it's a Friday roster move. And for the third time this entire offseason, the Cowboys have signed an outside free agent. It is Ryan Nall, the former Oregon State, former Chicago Bear running back. We're going to break down what he, what the signing means, who he is, what his role could potentially be for the Cowboys. But as a reminder, please do me a favor and subscribe. When news happens, I try my damnedest to get you guys the information, even if that means coming to you from my house and my mediocre, boring wall with baby Olivia sitting off to the right of me. Watch till the end. I'll, I promise you'll make another cameo appearance on today's show. So you're going to hit that big red button and subscribe for me. All right, I ask, or on to Ryan Nall, who I'm sure there's going to be overreaction to this one. Uh, this barely moves the needle, if we're being honest, because Ryan Nall barely moves the needle. He's been in the NFL for like four years now. Yeah, four years with 2018, undrafted free agent out of Oregon State. Big guy, big size coming out of, or, uh, coming out of Oregon State with 6'2 and change, 232. Really big size. They're a good broad jump at the combine or pro day, whatever it was. Uh, it was combine. Four, five, eight, 40 yard dash. So he's not a burner, but again, he does have the good size that people tend to like from that perspective. He is a bigger running back who has spent most of his time in the NFL on special teams. This could be your Corey Clement replacement. That's kind of the mold I think you're potentially adding here with somebody uh had his most touches i'll say in 2019 he had eight catches for 67 yards and a touchdown had three carries for zero yards in his career he's got six carries for 12 yards he had two touches all of last season so that's not exactly a lot to go on right there in the end this means nothing for guys like tony pollard for guys like ezekiel elliott this is a backup that maybe he makes the roster, maybe he doesn't, maybe he's a practice squatter type of player. He's not, you hope he's not, getting big touches and big you know, minutes for this team outside of special teams. So give me your one-word reaction to signing Ryan Nall. Just the one word here. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video. So if that ad break comes here, head down to the comment section, let me know what your one-word reaction is to signing Ryan Nall. Mine is, okay, That's that's that was my reaction. Okay, maybe he fights for a roster spot. Maybe he makes it. Maybe he doesn't. This doesn't move the needle at all for me. It's a, okay, type of pickup. Like It's a, it's a one-year deal, by the way. I don't know any of the contract details beyond that. I would be shocked and very confused if it was anything more than a vet minimum contract, because there's no reason to pay a guy like Ryan Nall, that type of money. That's not who he is. Uh, I pulled up my 2018 big board uh, back when I was not as good, at least I hope not as good uh, as I was back then. Seventh round grade for me, looking at some of my notes, big and slow-ish, thick build, which he certainly does. That's thick with two Cs, by the way. Uh, decent ag agility, not a birder. He was an H-back, and this is a good point, to start his career at, at Oregon State and then made the move to running back. I think that's kind of his position. The weird part was, despite being so big at Oregon State, he wasn't a truly powerful runner. Um, I think my suspicion here is the Cowboys will probably carry three or four tight ends and potentially one to two of guys like Rico Dowdle, like a Ryan Nall, like a uh, uh, Shea Olanalua out of TCU. Um, drawing a blank on the other fullback on the roster from Louisiana. Uh, those those guys are all going to fight, I think, for a couple of roster spots. Or Nick Ralston, there it is. I don't expect them to be noteworthy on offense. Because why would they be? This this means nothing in the end for guys like Zeke Elliott, for guys like Tony Pollard, because those are going to be your lead backs. And the Cowboys could still very well spend a pick on a running back. I would argue that needs to be done near the end of the draft. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to spend a top 110 pick, 120, 150 pick, whatever it is, 
on a guy who's going to be RB3 for an entire year. The whole purpose of having young backs is that they're cheap and affordable, and you're burning one of those years to do next nothing barring injury. So I don't really know if Ryan Nall will make the team. If he does, cool. Yay. Um, if he doesn't, everyone would have gone, wait, who's that anyway? So it's not the end of the world there. So what do you guys think? Will Ryan Nall make the Dallas Cowboys roster in 2022? Type in Y for yes or N for no right now in the comments section. I did mention earlier this was the third time the Cowboys have signed an outside free agent. In addition to Ryan Nall signing today on a one-year deal uh, broken by his agency and then the one-year deal part mentioned by Michael Galkin. Yes, I know, Olivia. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, I'm I'm single dad today. Wife's out of town. Uh, anyway, back to before Olivia just yelling at me next to me. Hey, it is what it is. Like the Cowboys have not done anything this free agency. They signed Dante Fowler. They signed James Washington in the span of like an hour apart. By the way, on a Friday, just like today, although that one came earlier at night. You know, Ryan Nall in the end is a depth running back. He's uh, when we update our depth chart, we've got the graphics that we normally do here at the Cowboys Report. He will be in the other section. I think Rico Dowell is ahead of him. I want to see if Rico Dowell could be a kicker turner, can be your RB three. And you are being so loud right now, Olivia. Okay, I'll put you on the camera in a minute. You gotta wait your turn, you diva. Nall in the end is a he's depth. That's all he is. The off season in the end has been. Quiet for the Cowboys. It's, it's, I know, a little bit frustrating, uh, A, to have my child screaming in the background, and also for the Cowboys to not do anything, you know, to sign a defensive end who was cut technically in February, a former round two pick and receiver who's been quiet in his NFL career. Um, all of those things. It's, it's a disappointing offseason. It's not what we were hoping for. So I got some more thoughts on Ryan Nall coming up. In the meantime, grade the Cowboys offseason for me. How do you feel about what they've done so far? And this does not include the draft. They'll, they typically draft pretty well, so it'll probably go up a little bit there. A, B, C, D, or F, let me know in the comments section how you guys are feeling about the Dallas Cowboys offseason so far right now. Okay, Olivia Cameo time. Oh, my goodness. You are screaming and yelling. Look, there you go. Yeah, there's baby Olivia, everyone. Can you give me your one-word reaction to signing Ryan Nall? Nothing, nothing at all. You were so vocal over there just a minute ago. Um, so just to recap here, since she was screaming, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, you know, Ryan Nall, backup depth piece. If you are wondering if this means anything for Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott, they, are they going to trade Zeke now? No, it means none of that. It's absolutely not going to happen. Uh, it's just, that's just a depth. It's depth. It's all it is there in the end. So, Olivia, can you, can you wave bye-bye to everybody? Tell them to subscribe. You don't, you don't have the words yet to do that, do you? Okay. Well, if you haven't already, hit the big red button for me so I can continue to feed this little one and uh, have a family and everything. Hit that big red button here on the Cowboys Report.